to my channel. This video is an introductory to the four bag method to packing your bags for your practical exam. So what I'm going to talk about right now is just some brief information you may need to know before you get to the exam so that you won't be turned away. You will of course need these bags or some type of bag setup. I came up with a four bag method to make it more easier so that you won't have opposed to the 13 bags. Uh, most schools, they have their own way of packing the bags and by all, no, all, by all means, follow what your instructor, instructors are telling you to do. This method was only, I only came up with to help people who haven't been in school for a long time and forgot a lot of things and you know, are not able to go back to the school to get a help with packing the bags. So this is just a, a video to help people who really want the help and need it. But if you are an active student, be sure you follow your educators and, you know, do what they tell you to do because they will not steer you wrong. Is more than one way you could do things. The key point is to make sure you have all the tools and supplies necessary. In each one of these bags is um, a list of practicals that's in the bags. So in the next video, I'll go over bag one. I'm going to do a bag, a video for each bag because I want to take everything out so that you'll be able to see what's in the bag. You'll also need a mannequin with medium length hair. You don't want a short hair like what you see here on the sides. This is not a good one. The back is kind of long, but she has short layers. So you don't want to take a mannequin that's already styled and cut. She's only here so you, so in my presentation, you won't forget to bring your mannequin. Most schools I have, you have a state board mannequin that they don't allow you to cut too much to use for the state board. And you need a stand or a tripod. This is a tripod. Some schools give tripods. Some give you a table stand. Make sure you do not forget that. Okay? Um, prior to their test, you'll get a letter. The letter, I have your name and where you are going to take the test. You need to bring this letter with you to the test along with ID. I would say two forms just in case. Debit card, driver's license, passport. You know, just bring two forms. Um, and be sure you bring, if your address don't match, you need to bring proof of address. And, you know, hopefully everything match, okay? Because they're very strict on your address, you know, your legal documents. I'm an educator um, for over 10 years and a cosmetologist for over 25. I have a lot of experience. I've helped a lot of students, you know, with the basic. You're being graded on a basic entry level cosmetologist. Every school is different. So if this don't work for you, by all means, don't use it. Okay, this, if it worked for you, use it. But I'm telling you, from my experience and from what I've been helping students with, it works. Okay? The thing that messes people up is you don't know your procedures. All right? You can have the tools and don't know the procedures, and that's where the problem come in. And then the students want to blame the teacher, the school, and Mrs. Lewis' video. So make sure you're practicing and you are prepared and you go to school, look, um, go to the exam looking professional. Your clothes, hair, makeup. You want to make sure you wear at least two components of makeup. Your hair is maybe a chignon or a doobie, bob, whatever you wear. But make sure you look professional. Your uniform, your jacket. You need to wear dress pants, no spandex, no stirrups, no tights. Um, and you need to wear rubber sole, closed toe and closed heel shoes. No high top sneakers or anything like that. And um, lab coat, I did say that. Lab coat or lab jacket. If you wear the uniform shirt, if it got two pockets, that's fine, but you cannot wear a button up um, shirt or an apron, okay? So make sure you are prepared and you're ready the night before. 
Um, make sure you double check everything and make sure you have it. Um, everything you need, do a little checklist. And make sure everything looks good because presentation is everything. No cell phones. Turn your cell phones off before you even go in the test to take your test. And no chewing gum and no nasty attitudes. Attitude is everything. Even though, you know, body language is attitude. You know, sometimes you, you can see people have an attitude just in their body. You don't even got to talk. So make sure you're professional. And ain't nobody saying smile like this all day. But, but you know, be excited because this could change your life. So in the next video, I'll do bag one and I'll set up the table and take everything out and go over it with you and show you how you should set up. And then I'll do each bag in the following videos. So if you haven't already, please subscribe um, because I have a lot of videos coming up. After these four videos, I'll be doing hair videos, you know, hair cutting, coloring, you know, different things I've learned over the 25 years that I want to share now at this point in my life. And if it's for you, take the good from it. And whatever is not for you, just leave it. All right? It's not no one way you could do anything. Okay, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you or you seeing me in the next video. Bag one.